It was really hard to be a new mom We're having a full-time job. I feel so depressed. I feel like I'm not good enough I feel burned out in the past 11 months since I had a new baby I also felt I was very blessed that I had a baby. I really love him and baby Edward, but I lost my identity since I had my son. So this video is probably what you expected, typical in my YouTube channel. Because I'm not going to share with you any advice, because I have no advice. This video is about the failure, the struggle I've gone through in the past 11 months that I finally break out and would like to share with all of you guys regarding the true side of myself and my personal life. This is Dr. Nancy Lee. I help people transition from a worker bee to a product manager and business leader from PMAccelerator.io. If you want to learn the most effective way to become product manager, and you should subscribe to the channel, hit the like button so that you know notified every time I turn on a new video every Wednesday. It's so hard to admit in public that I was depressed for six months since I had my baby. I felt totally lost because I feel like I lost myself. I lost my identity. In the past, I was a YouTuber, director of product, right running my own coaching business on the side. But after I had my son, I just felt like every day I was around him and trying to do breastfeeding, which is extremely demanding. I'm not myself anymore. I just felt like I am a cow. I do nothing but feeding my baby. Do you feel this way if a new mom? I felt that way. I'm no longer Dr. Nancy Lee anymore. I'm no longer myself. Now, let's talk about the breastfeeding. Why? I feel like I'm just a cow. Um, so I'm doing full breastfeeding. I'm doing breastfeeding 100%, no formula for my baby since day one. And my baby was so attached to me and he refused to take bottles for months. So he only wanted to be attached to me to breastfeeding for a very long time. We tried to let him cry it out. Um, somehow he just refused to even take pacifier or bottles, only me. And he also gets up every three hours to get fed. Um, lots of people say, hey Nancy, you can just do sleep training. Maybe sleep training works well for some families and somehow didn't work well for my families, um, especially for my baby. We try sleep training, it just, it's still very hard to implement and also Quick education, what is sleep training for people who doesn't have a baby? Sleep training means that you let your baby cry to sleep. To me, to be frank, it's really hard as a new mom to hear your baby crying. Um, I let him cry for a little while, if it doesn't work, I'm coming checking with him. So therefore, my baby's sleep schedule wasn't perfect. I still feed him seven times until the month six. For newborn, you feed him eight times per day for six months he still was fed for seven times per day. So I was in and out into my coaching business and, and every three hours I feed my son and for a little while I have to film a YouTube video. And um, guess what? I really love filming YouTube video, but there's a very frequent disruption, not having enough sleep. Did you pay close attention to my YouTube channel? I wasn't able to produce any new YouTube videos for four months. All I can do is I go live on YouTube so that at least I have one hour. And after this one hour, I immediately go back to feed my son or catch up with some sleep. And finally, until the nine months, I was able to sleep through the night. That's when my baby decided to finally go to bed around eight o'clock and get up around six o'clock. Finally, I was able to sleep through the night and but still get up six to feed him. It was hard. I wasn't prepared. I didn't know what to expect, even if I read lots of books, but each baby is very different. I even grow some white hair. And the other thing changing my identity was that, you know, as a YouTuber, we are very groomed, well-dressed, in front of cameras, and also in daily life as well, because I went to a fashion design school back in China when it was college. I was very fashionable. But after a baby, the first two months I was in pajamas, every single day because I just feed my baby, try to catch up on sleeps, feed my baby, catch up on sleeps. So it was really hard in terms of I got a new identity, I'm no longer who I am. Another thing make it really challenging was that I had a cobble tunnel for six months. So what is cobble tunnel means? Actually your hands 
her. This happened to some percentage of women. Once they had a baby, or even before they had a baby, their arms, somehow the veins start to change and your hands, your fingers start to feel very numb. So I wasn't able to hold my baby for six months because my hands actually hurt, feel numb. Whenever I lift something heavy, I can feel the pain. Even when I type on computers, it was so painful. Even when I type on my cell phone, it was also very painful. I have to learn a new way holding my babies using my arms, without hands, with the help from my parents and my husband. That's why I was depressed. So I'm sharing so much with you guys. Um, I just want to see the true side of myself. Nothing's perfect. Lots of women went through the hard things of hard things, being able to have a full-time job and also raise their babies and their kids. You guys are the best moms ever. But I also got the present surprise, which is about how much I love being a mom. All right, I know I have complained a lot about being a new mom, but I do love being a new mom. This is my favorite thing ever. I love it so much. I never expect as a career-driven woman after the baby, I'll be like, wow, every day I just want to spend time with my baby. And actually the fact of leaving my baby very frequently has something to do with me. Just want to spend time with my baby, prioritize with my baby. Everything is around him. And I want to because it's the best feeling ever. The smile, the kisses, playing with him, and even him crying, I find it's really cute as well. I never expect I would enjoy being a mom so much and the feeling of want to spend time with your son regardless your other duties it cannot be described and you can just watching the time passing by and two hours is gone while playing with the baby on the swing just playing in the playground and time flew by very quickly but that's the best time ever i feel myself get lost with those two hours or one hour playing with my baby so that's why i started to embrace my new identity. Now my son is 11 months old. I finally start to come out as a new Nancy, start to embrace my new identity, who is a mom and also running a business full-time, which is my coaching business called PM Accelerator. I start to learn how to do work-life integration. I personally believe that work-life balance doesn't exist for me as a new mom. If you know how to manage work-life balance, please comment on the chat. I love to learn from you guys. Were you also depressed as a new mom? Please comment on the chat. I do want to hear from you guys. Or if you have any advice, not feel depressed, comment on the chat as well. After I prioritize my baby, the only time I can focus on working and creating new content and teaching other people is in the evening, which is from nine to midnight. That's when I'm super productive. I was able to do lots of things which also one of the reasons lots of YouTube videos we filmed was filmed in the night as well. In the middle of the day, I also got some pleasant surprise when trying to respond to some questions from students. Occasionally, my son will come into my office, which I really like, by the way. I just enjoy it. It's extremely cute. Um, he knows how to distract you. He knows how to make you love him so much. So that's why I don't believe in work-life balance, but I believe in work-life integration. It's more about how would you integrate your new self with your baby schedule and your own work from home schedule as well. I'm also quite ashamed to be frank, I didn't work out enough. Did you work out enough when you're a new mom, having a full-time job, a baby, at least I feel like I didn't work out enough. This is very ashamed of that. I'm losing my six pack. Well, I never had six pack in general. So I just want to go back to myself uh, by gradually uh, going back to workout. And, and even the first time I start working out uh, lately, and my shoulder, my old injury start to hurt again. So life is very complicated to be frank as a new mom. But this is the best job you can ever given to me. That's why I want all the amazing moms that are out there to be proud of yourself. You're not alone. You have accomplished so much while having babies, maybe one or two multiple babies, having a job, and together and have a husband, a whole family to entertain, to build a life together. You're not alone. We're in this together. You're doing amazing. I know I'm not a super mom. 
I also know I have very little parental advice here. I just wish all of the moms and out there continue to push and celebrate how much you have accomplished so far. There is so much new opportunities and out there. I want all of you guys to fall in love with yourself, your baby, and your new self and your family as well. This is Dr. Nancy. If you like any of the upcoming content, free training about product management, career work-life balance as new moms, feel free to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the bell button so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video every Wednesday. This is Dr. Nancy. I'm gonna see you soon.